Hello and welcome back to Age of Wonders Planetfall. Now uh, I just noticed there is an icon on my map here, this little nuclear symbol. I'm guessing that's where my Pyrex refinery is, has been built. So based on that, should be able to see if any opponent has built any of these doomsday uh, victory structures in any of their settlements, and I don't see any. Uh, right, so last time I said... Oh wait, what are you doing? Ah, uh, I was supposed to annex something, wasn't I? You need another one? No, not for a while. Well... Hmm. It's fine. I don't think I don't think any of my settlements can actually annex that. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to wait a turn because I have a spell I haven't used that requires seven tactical operation points, and I want to see what it does. So I think I'll use that. Alright, you needed reinforcements. I guess this would be a reinforcement. Or we could build a laser tank. We have the ability to build laser tanks, I'm just not building them for some reason. So I very much feel like I'm at the end end stage where I'm just kind of in the this uh, I have the civilization problem. I'm just kind of hitting end turn over and over until I win. Except that because it's an Age of Wonders game, I'm still doing stuff because it's op it's suboptimal not to be doing stuff, even though I don't really need to. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of my read on the current situation, anyway. Okay, I guess... I guess we're actually going to do the battle plan. I think this might be the first time I've used that ability. See how this goes. Not too worried. So I guess if I think I've already won and I'm just kind of hitting end turn until I get all my tech done, ready. then the one thing I should be doing is grinding up levels on Jack Gilder, just on the off chance that, uh, that there's going to be another mission. Enemy down. I don't think there is. Uh, all right, you guys all revive, don't you? It doesn't matter. I should be able to take everything out in this turn. Well, I say that, but then this thing's kind of far. No line of sight, really? Oh, this is awkward. Range 
seven. That uses up your turn. Hmm, most unfortunate. You've already moved. All right, I guess we're not winning this turn. Enemy annihilated. I could use one of these to, to reduce my damage slightly. And in particular, because. Enemy kill. Yeah, so two of them are going to revive as I expected. Enemy neutralized. Oh, they did zero damage. Oh, well, free action, but you're not even injured. Uh, you don't have a heal. Alright, you got my hero, you're just in a slow fight. Enemy down. I feel like I was in the middle of saying something. Enemy annihilated. They never stood a chance. Now, did we just get two levels on our commander? I think I saw him level up at the end of the fight. But then everybody gets to level up because the standard. Yeah, 11 experience points, or skill points rather? Maybe. Uh, what would I even give you at this point though? Primary range attacks, no thank you. Hmm. Modular extension, I guess, that's always good. Hmm. Crit chance? Yeah, we'll take crit chance. Uh, while we're here, might as well check out the mods. Burning canisters. Uh, like a smoke cloud kind of ability. I'm not too excited about that. I guess we could give him a thermal targeting relay. Might be fun. Seems to be my go-to. You know what, we don't need to do that right away. We can take our time. Ah. Uh, right, so something I was considering is that because of how this map is set up, uh, it's very scripted in a lot of ways. I feel no threat whatsoever at this point. I've taken out the guy who is supposed to be at war with me. That was his purpose on the map. I have two people that are supposed to be my allies. One who's supposed to be sort of a dark horse kind of character that may or may not be my ally. And a fourth one who I guess is supposed to be my enemy, but isn't overly hostile. I don't see any way that I can actually lose this outside of conquest. So I'm just going to go for the doomsday and see what happens. Just go where we tell you, when we tell you, and how we tell you. Obey. If you get burned, that's an indicator that you're not following our protection procedures properly, or you're on the list for extermination. Madam Flora Radner, Phoenix Procedural Administrator. Oh, this has a sustained upkeep cost of 16 per turn. Target friendly colony is defended by a superheated plasma ray. Oh right, this is a defensive thing. That makes sense. Production ready. Oh, 
right. Happiness event in colony. Happiness event in colony. Okay, extra knowledge. That looks good to me. A robot's life. Autonom Sentinel is attempting to access the cache is still sealed behind the convoy's reinforced doors. It seems unlikely that its efforts to break in will be successful anytime soon. I could improve my relationship or I could have it decline for 15 energy. Why even bother? Like, why would I bother? Alright, adjacent hex rule will not take effect here. Because we are over water and this is not an aquatic army. In fact, nothing in this army is anything other than land. Operations available for priming. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an incineration strike. We're gonna launch this. So they took a bunch of damage. Then we're gonna go in. So now I wanted to test out... Oh wait, I can't do that this turn. Uh, in that case, let's move here. Take a shot. Have I ever missed one of those 55% shots? I don't think I have. Okay, Plasmoid... Ah, you. Doesn't affect our hero, so it doesn't matter that I acted with the hero first. forward. Out of curiosity, do these penguins have anything that can attack up? Penguin leap. Damaging far away or flying units. Oh, it's a full action. This range 7 is impressive, but this is a full action thing. Oh, plus 30% damage and plus 2 range in water battles. Interesting. Hmm. Nice cohesion, okay. Makes sense. The more exciting thing about the, the napalm strike, or whatever it was that I did before the fight starts, is that all of you have uh, thermal weakness now. Let's see. Oh, maybe not if you got cured. Really? Yeah, thermal weakness. Hmm. I guess that you you healed that. Well, that's slightly annoying. It's fine. So they're doing a ton of damage to my hero, but they haven't staggered my hero, which is the important thing. Operations available. Okay, so what did I want to do? I wanted to go into here, and I wanted to try out the cluster shell. At the end of your enemy's next two turns, what are shells hit? See. problem is, I think this fight's going to be over before, I mean, yeah, at the end of their turn, so you know what, this doesn't have any effect now, so let's just wait, but yeah, see, I'm doing pretty heavy damage to everybody here, I could also do this, which does almost as much damage, honestly, stagger your resistant, Impact stagger. Uh, thermal targeting relay makes it more effective if I light you on fire, so let's try to make you all burn first. Oh, critical. I think it should do it. Um, maybe it won't affect it, but. And now. So we can do that, or we can do 
Yeah, this just does so much more damage. Maybe should have been targeting the guy in the back. Enemy annihilated. I'm not using Enemy that ability. Kill. There's just not enough left to be worth it. Ah. Okay. That's unfortunate. Oh. Well, you hardly do any damage anyway. Enemy down. At this point. We take out the Steel Eater with a spell. Is there any point? We'll take less damage, but I guess I'm doing it. Enemy destroyed. Oh, do we have burning something? Oh. Enemy killed. It's just Enemy eliminated. Our forces are victorious. Alright, not even close. So we want to establish a base here. Because we want to connect this up to this right away and get that Cosmite income coming in. Which we need to wait until we're at population 4 before we can grab this. I mean, this is probably just a waste of influence, honestly, but. I've done it. Oh, so you can get mods. Teleports. Hmm. Problem is you're a sniper. That doesn't play well with snipe. Sniper. I guess we'll go air commander with you, probably. And... Anything else even matter? Biological units get plus five maximum HP. I mean, that's really cool, but I don't have biological units. No, I think that's it. All right, we'll go air commander, make our gunships even, even stronger. And uh, I guess you get a targeting relay as well and Defense? Purification field? It's a free action, might as well get a heal. Yeah, and we're basically at full health. Uh, anything in the water that I want to be taking out at this point? Not especially. So we'll explore up this way. See what we find. Hmm. Okay, right. I was building an army here. Do I have enough influence now to get the get the thing? Paragon. Techno Prophet, I do. Get myself my first tier 4 unit. Or Cosmite a turn in upkeep. Well, we're getting a new Cosmite thing soon. Blaster Defense. Overdrive. Wait. Oh, this is just a repeating attack. Okay, Overdrive. Hack into all friendly Paragon units with Imperial Augments, plus them to overcharge. 
That's the same as the Fanatic's ability. Wrath of the Old Machines. Order an orbiting satellite to blast a 2 hex radius. It's pretty nice. Range 12? Yeah. Well, starts on cooldown for 3 turns. That kind of makes sense, I guess. It's reduced the further th uh, damage is reduced the further from the central hex you are. You can use, you want, use it once for battle. That's fine. Call in Paragon Reinforcements uh, to aid in the battle. Oh, and you can just keep doing this. Yeah, no, this unit turns out it's pretty good. I mean, it is... It is a tier 4 unit. Anyway, now that we've got that... Now let's fly you in here. We'll join this army. Are you a commander? not appear to be... I haven't invested any skill points into you. That's a problem. Unoplag. Uh, hero learns to move rapidly to confuse enemies. Here against Skitter, making them harder to hit if they move during their turn. You know what? That might actually be kind of good for you. Um, given that you're flying, sure. Do I want to make you into another commander? Not especially. You can just be a unit. Uh, range specialist, two, three, dead eye, two, and there we go, we're done. Okay. And I don't have any... oh, I do have a little bit. These weapons have a chance of making things burn, incinerator module, targeting relay. injectors. This gain stagger resistance. I would be immune. Okay. You know what? Let's do that. Take the 27 energy. I mean, you're hardly paying for yourself at this point, but might as well keep exploring. Okay, you're gonna come back as well because we're gonna build you a laser tank. You're, you're an infantry commander, aren't you? Okay, maybe that's a bit silly, but whatever. Okay, well, we can't do that now. Probably ought to battle this. You're just indentured, right? Yeah. Indentured with a single enforcer. be really smart and do the battle plan after attacking. Okay. That's how we do things. Staggering me, I don't like that part. Maybe I should get you the stagger resistance. Operations ready. Hey, what is your stagger resistance level? You don't have any. Okay. Hmm. Uh, didn't cause minus defense, probably because he didn't have any defense to begin with. 
Okay. Is there any way I can hit both of them? From here I could. Okay. Enemy neutralized. I could, but that would be pretty dangerous. I guess from here I could too, but I'd be running through. Overwatch. Enemy neutralized. Oh, I wasn't expecting that to actually kill it. Battle. Wait, does that work on anybody? Wow. Okay. I thought that was only mechanical for some reason. completely pointless because it's going to regenerate more than that by the end of the turn anyway. Enemy neutralized. Enemy killed. They never stood a chance. Well, I guess it wasn't actually going to heal because it's going to end the fight before the end of the battle. At the end of the turn. All right. Imperial cosmite stash. There's an imperial cosmite stash there as well. You know, let's just pick this stuff up. Uh, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to see what happens if I auto battle this. Okay, we took some damage. I think this is a Pretty strong squad. I'm not too concerned about... And I'm not too concerned about losing units at this point, so I think it makes sense to experiment with the auto battle with some of the um, random battles that I'm doing. Alright, Pyrex preparations done. Now I just need Purification. It's going to be, what, seven turns and then ten more turns of waiting to get to, the, to, get to victory. Uh, requires fumigation protocols at level 3. I believe we're currently at 1. Oh, let's just go for it. Oh, Cena is warning me that I'm developing Oh, I see. I am very well aware of what you have done. Let it be known to all. Jack Elder has started development of an apocalyptic weapon. We abhor your actions. Consider yourself warned. Next time, I might not be so forgiving. Ah, it's fine. I've never understood the aversion some have to toxins. Nature uses toxins to repel rival life forms. The inability to live in a toxic landfill is just an indicator that we, as a race, need to do a little evolving. Charlene Hester, botanist, Terratech Labs. Alright, Cosmet Harvesting Center, I definitely want that. I think that's why I researched this. Ah, oh, this took so long, take a long time. Well, we're getting there. Ignore Volcanic. Bonus Energy from Lava. Good stuff. Firewall Awakening, I've just kind of decided I'm not bothering to revive the Emperor. So I guess I'm not going to. 
for top lanes exploitation. I might as well take this, given that there are some planes out there. Well, no, it's mostly runes and forest, right? Mountains don't matter as much because I'm going. Uh, I can't really use them anyway. Uh, this will change my relationship with other people. That seemed like it was way out. Well, I can accept it, but then just not do it, right? No, oh, actually, it wasn't that far. I, I thought it was going to be out here for some reason. Battle one by Chin. Taking out, oh, taking out a Ravenous. Okay. Cool. Star Guide. Okay, so I'm guessing that Chin. I don't see his leader here. He's a Celestian. I'm guessing that's his special. I don't really know what they what they do, but that would kind of make sense. This forward base isn't actually doing anything for me. I don't think. Colony established. Mhm. Mm and I guess I was gonna say science, but I think at this point, do we need more science? Do do we need more anything? Fine, we'll go science. Happiness event in colony. Level food. Sure. Happiness event in colony. Double knowledge, very nice. Production ready. Alright, that's our second refinery. Yeah, we can't build a third one. Can do this though. Um, we could just rush this. Got that Cosmite earlier, I think that's a good idea. But the energy, we might as well spend it. Food sector upgrade. Oh, we need the military factory if we're going to build the laser tank. Which I kind of want to build. Build a battleship. Hmm. No, we'll get the military factory here. Eviscerator. Ooh, a level up here. It's too. Oh, just Blade Moss? Really? Okay, we can get that out. We have a second. Yeah, we do have a second. Can't really see it because off to the side, but there it is. Oh. Got two of those right by our capital. Working good. Now, do you guys want anything else? I mean, you want? I just, I just don't care at this point. I'm gonna have you just stand there and defend. Ooh, 26 science. It would have been nice once upon a time. I guess it's still technically better than not 26 science. Oh, this is a, a big sector. I remember reading about this in the developer diaries, where they had like all these little coastal set sectors were pretty small, but then they have this massive central one. I wonder if I can just establish a base there, or if it has separate uh, separate or different rules or anything. All right, back you come. I guess we need to decide where we're building this third refinery. Probably just gonna rush by it, although it's like 500 energy to start this, isn't it? Oh. Ah, whoops. Okay, you've gone autonom as your ally, for sure. What is this? Oh, the Sun Umbra Temple. Temple. Quest. Guard. 
Yes, that's fine. Are you... Okay, you're building food development. Settling. I guess we settled over here. That's fine. Oh, the assembly like me now. Huh. Incoming communication. You want a diplomatic route with me? Well, not terribly interested. Oh, we're just killing some weak stuff. What is why do you have no icon? Can I change? Hmm. Are you invisible or something? It might just be a glitch. I don't know why her, her icon isn't showing up there. Observe. Even life on fertile plains is quick, clever, and relentless, or a stronger, more ruthless creature will claim their habitat and use them as prey. We must exploit even the comfortable open spaces with greater efficiency, or life will replace us. Dr. Ellen Shaw, Assembly Environmental Adaption Research. Alright, so we're just going for that just to get the slightly faster movement. Uh, faster movement on mountains, I don't care, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, colonist care gets me more happiness. Uh, more uh, influence per turn. I mean, that would be a big upgrade. Build hospital. Eh. Okay, we got these we can be doing. got these we can be doing. Cosmite mastery. Global cosmite increased by 10%. Oh, I see. Cosmite generation reactor. That's kind of cool. Five cosmite a turn, and... Additional 10 Cosmite per turn if you're building energy or research instead of actually anything else. And that is that is pretty cool. Subjugation protocols. Not able to cast tactical operations in the first round of combat. Don't really care. Mm. Upgrades here. What is this, what was this one? Uh, oh right, um, research. I'm oh, sorry, experience on units. Uh, I should actually be reading this out loud. Sorry. Uh, disrupt and shut down an enemy operation. Uh, sorry, attempt success is determined by offer strength versus yeah, of course. Um, Attempt to identify and remove any covert operations that are currently affecting you. This will also raise your alert level by two, increasing operation defense. You know what? Let's take this. Prevent people from doing weird stuff to us. Uh, wait, where was that? Was it, wasn't it this? Oh yeah, it was. Okay. Secret state, just more defense. No, that's fine. Uh, do we want to do this? Not particularly. Operations available for priming. It's fine. Communication protocols don't need to start doing stuff like that. That would just be Production rude. ready. Electrocutioner. Uh, purifier, right? So we could be building. And I guess that's the advantage to. I was trying to figure out. In this one, because you're researching racial and secret tech uh, units separately, what is the real value of the secret tech? And I guess I just discovered it, and it's that I don't need to research the racial units for new races that I assimilate into my empire. I could just build them. Uh, all right, these all just affect one sector each. More production. This place doesn't have a lot of it. I don't, even, I don't even know if that gives me more production. I'm really just in Civ mode at this point where I'm hitting and turn over and over. I'm still trying to read stuff because this is all new to me, but I'm also sort of at a point where I just don't think it matters all that much. It's like, instead of just doing this, let's actually look at this. What would this do? 
We have ruins. Now, obviously, the water is not ruins. So we have two citizens working on ruins. Sorry, two citizens working on research, and we have one ruins domain, or one ruins sector. So we would gain two science a turn for building this. Yeah, it's more science. Big difference here. All the combat. Win, everything grows. You're leveled up. You devour hope. Yeah, alright, that thing. Bonus damage against low morale, that's always fun. I did like exploit despair. Fun necromancer ability. I'll take more life. And then we've got this thing. If we just attack it. Again, it's oh, I say it's not all that strong, but. No, we'll, we'll fight this one out. I don't have a lot of experience using melee units. Also, we got a cool looking zone. I guess I have fought in one of these before, but. And yeah, we got a cool battle map. That's always nice. Oh, a bunch of these don't even have mods. Alright, I can't do that yet. They should be coming for me. Regen. And per turn for four turns. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, let's move... Let's move these first. Because... They're the ones... They're the ones that I want up front. Before I block all my narrow passageways with my ranged units. Yeah, you're gonna run back and do that. Hyper aggression. Ah, okay. So 25% increased damage. Uh, you destroyed the cover. Nice, nicely done. Okay, I like how this is going so far. I'm gonna leap. Operations available. The yeah, operations are available for what it's worth. Well, we'll see how this goes for me. Uh, we triggered Overwatch. That's unfortunate. That's not how I wanted that to go at all. Enemy neutralized. So we got a grazing hit. Yeah, Pincer. Why do you do so much more damage? Because you have mods? Ah, you have extra health. That's why. A lot of extra health. Let's see how you like this. Really? One HP. And every time. Enemy neutralized. It's fine. Enemy annihilated. Probably just gonna respawn right now, but at least that uses up your respawn. Yep, there you are. Oh 
can't really see that action. Unit down. Thought that might happen. I was being pretty reckless with my, my injured units. But that's okay. thing is, if I miss, you're going to get your counterattack against me, right? Where does it say... Because we've got the melee overwatch symbol. Overwatch times one... No overwatch? Really? Okay, I trust you. We'll see what happens. No overwatch. And I knocked you out of overwatch. Pretty nice. Overwatch on miss or graze. We got neither. Stunned you, you're no longer in Overwatch. Hit both of them. Does this do impact? No. Enemy neutralized. Let's take you out. Enemy down. Alright, that leaves you with one. Blade Maw, you might take out my Plasmoid. Well, if you might take out my Plasmoid, then I guess I might as well just... Oh, that's not good. Oh, Stagger. Not the best use of my resources, maybe, but I would rather you have fewer actions. I'm gonna have to spend energy to summon a new plasmoid anyway. Uh, or you could trigger overwatch and die. Enemy uh, neutralized. Too. They never stood a chance. All right. Tactical repair rig. Uh, oh, I see. Seven fourteen twenty one. Depending on how many action points I have when I use it, that's pretty cool. Um, well, use it, complete. But... Take these rewards. Oh, what is this? Transmission tower. Plus four increased vision and scan rage to your colony and one influence. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, I guess we're in autonom territory here. I don't really have anything else to do with any of this, so I guess we'll just be done. Are we here? Okay. Right, we're exploring just for the sake of seeing whether we can do it or not. Can we set up a base here? Cannot claim an uninhabitable sector. Okay. So we cannot. It's to be expected, I suppose. We can annex, well, easy, easy choice, that's why we did what we did. Production ready. Ah, you finished your purifier, so now... Oh, you already have your Pyrex, okay. Uh, I guess we can build the battleship here then. Just so that we have one. Because you have you have an aquatic sector, so that's why. 
that works. What are you in there? You are infantry, right? Yes. Cosmite. Very nice. Uh, I don't care about that. So one conclusion I'm drawing from this game at this point is that it suffers from the same thing so many 4X games suffer from where late game is just not all that interesting. Okay, can you build a Pyrex? You can. And we can afford it. It's expensive. Where is the safest, I guess, detection zone? Additional cost, a lot. That's okay, we'll rush it later. And the cost is down because we need it to line up with that, really. Right, so campaign-wise, I, as I was, I guess I, this might have been an uninterrupted thought from earlier, uninterrupted thought from earlier. But I could be leveling up Jack Gelder, I think. Um, very virtuous. I think that Jack Gelder, this is the last Vanguard mission. I think there are two per faction. I could be wrong. I don't know why I think that. I guess just because of the initial planets, I counted there were like 12. I'm assuming I'm not unlocking secret ones as I go. So this would be the last mission with him. I could try to level him up, but I don't really think I need to. And also, actually, even if I did level him up, what would I get him at this point? I don't care about any of the abilities that I'm unlocking for him. Maybe there's some really amazing ones at higher levels, I don't know. Uh, you want open borders in exchange for open borders? Uh, I'm not particularly interested. So I can hit cancel and just ignore this, and then is that not the same as declining? Care. Share vision, I will accept that. Battle one by Dayu. That's a little bit overkill, don't you think? We still lost something, and that's why we don't do auto battle. Dayu's still not showing up there for some reason. You're leveled up. Okay, I guess. Well, we want, we want Dead Eye. I guess we'll put Vitality. Spore feeding. Uh, let's see. Surrounds the army with spores that feed on the unit's skills to regenerate their hit points. Biological and cyborg units in the hero's army regain 15 health when they kill a biological or cyborg unit within three hexes of them. Awfully specific, but could be cool, I suppose. Now uh, we'll just take the health. Okay, we can annex the sector. Okay. Uh, Axiod can annex a sector. You already have two science places, right? Have university. Oh, this would have been the second one. Oh no, crazed countryside. You wanted that. Okay. Well, Operations let's. Operations available for priming. Annex. And then I guess you can run up this way and annex something for for you guys. What would we annex for you? Coastal? Either coastal or this. What is this? Energy? You already have two energy, don't you? No? Wait, what is this? Refugee zone is food. That makes sense. Oh, it just has a power plant. That's what I was seeing. Okay, I guess we'll go for energy. Uh, so we want you here.
They want 125 energy. Uh, kind of annoying, but I guess I can afford it. We know there's a mole in the organization, so we'll be monitoring all of your communications and tracking all of your movements. Please object. It will confirm our suspicions of you. Dustin Banks, Financial Security Services. All right, select the research. Scanner upgrade range. Upgrade the scanners in your colonies. All colonies now have plus three vision and scanner range. Uh, reduce the target player's operation defense by four against our operations and allows to view a list of that player's active special non covert operations. Players who operations enter you have infiltrated will also be shown in the capability rankings. Okay. Well, might as well play around with espionage, I guess, while we're at the end of this. Unexploited sector. Okay, well, let's exploit it. An easy choice. I guess we're just guarding these. Got all these cool units, and I'm not using them for anything. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna hit end turn like ten times uh, in the next in the next episode, and then we'll be done this mission. It's uh, very much what I'm feeling is going to happen. Because at this point, I'm not really planning things out. I don't really care about any of the decisions that I'm making. I'm just kind of wasting time with everybody. Uh, oh, we can grab that, right? A failed spacer skeleton. Uh, failed spacer raid. A skeleton in spacer peril was found inside the wreck, still clutching the valuable item. A displacement systems creates an image of the unit, making it seem as if it is a small distance from where it actually is. Thus, okay, so displacer. Displacer Beast kind of thing. 20% uh, harder to hit and 2 defense. That's actually pretty nice. Take it. Will we use it? No. Yay, energy. Set production. Are you... Yeah, you're sharing your food. That's good. You're still growing. Uh, oh. Make cheaper instant completion of things. Hmm. Level up runes. Do that. Uh, oh, we have to build these exploitations. We look at Harbor to Hardshell Reef. Oh, I see. Morning Reef is my harbor, so that's where my ships will be deployed. Cool. There's not really any point in doing those though, because they'll just get taken out by sea monsters. Well, no, actually, they have they have militia. Never mind, I could do that. I remember they got attacked once and we held it off. Uh, Axiod. I want to upgrade the research for sure. Sector annexed. Excellent. Oh, I probably shouldn't, have, probably shouldn't have done that. Anyway, unless something really exciting happens at the start of the turn, that's where we're going to end it. Battle against neutrals, that does not qualify as anything exciting. Oh. Empire task completed. Oh, I see. Okay. We were not the first to complete this, I'm pretty sure. I wish it would say up here who it was every time you got one of these. We could go unifier, make ourselves hap uh, more friendly looking. We don't need to do that. We have a good reputation. Now we'll go through all the rest of this uh, next time. I will see you then.